what's going on guys, this is Brian with some Advanced Comics in collaboration with ComicBookInvest.com and in this video I'm going to give you my weekly picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, April 24th, 2019. Hope everyone had a great Easter, a lot of great books coming out this week, so definitely, definitely going to be heavy on the wallet. Vault and Mad Cave both have new books coming out this week, two of my favorite indie publishers. Mad Cave has Honor and Curse number three. Vault has Queen of Bad Dreams number one coming out. Also, comicbookinvest.com, if you head over there right now, they have their own exclusive Queen of Bad Dreams Vault Vintage Retailer exclusive. It's an homage to Detective Comics number 31. Fantastic cover. Comicbookinvest.com, head over there, check it out. As well, there are still very limited amounts remaining of their Honor and Curse exclusive variant as well. But enough of that, let's head over to the computer and I'll show you guys my picks for the week. We kick this week off with Action Comics 1010. One by one they fall. Argus, the DEO, the Cobra Colt, and now Spiral. Clark Kent and Lois Lane go undercover to find out who is behind all the attacks on the top secret and underground organizations of the DC Universe. There's a regular cover by Steve Epting, there's also a regular price variant by Francis Manipole. Batgirl number 34, when Babs confronts her father about James Jr.'s return to Gotham City, the stress between them causes the two to finally break apart. As a result, Babs has to move into her own apartment. Wah, wah, wah. We have a regular cover by Francis Manipole, and of course there's a regular price variant by Joshua Middleton. Batman Beyond number 31, with a series of spectacular high-tech heists, a mysterious new villain known as The Split is preying on Ganeo Gotham. Only Batman is capable of stopping him, yet Terry McGinnis wants nothing more than to get his life back to normal after his destructive battle with the Joker. We have a regular cover by Chris Samney. There's also a gorgeous regular price variant by Ben Oliver. I'm picking up the Ben Oliver cover. Detective Comics number 1002. The Arkham Knight has arrived in Gotham City with an entire roundtable of deadly allies. And their first encounter will leave Batman shaken to his core. We have a regular cover by Brad Walker. There's also a regular price variant by Mark Brooks. I'm picking up the Brooks cover. Dial H for hero number two. On the road with the amazing H dial that gifts the user with a new superpower every time they place a call, teenager runaways Miguel and Summer come under attack by others who crave the power the dial offers. With cryptic calls from the phone zone and no one to turn for help, the adolescent adventures come to a breaking point where they either must work together or lose more than just the dial. Flash number 69. Trickster has pulled out all the stops in his assault on Flash's hometown and the Scarlet Speedster is powerless to crack Trickster's code. Our hero is faced with an impossible choice. Save the people of Central City or let the villain who caused it all escape to wreak havoc another day. We have a regular cover by Dan Mora. There's also a regular price variant by Mitch Gerads. Heroes in Crisis number 8. Now with the killer revealed, it's time to find out why. We have a regular cover by Mitch Gerads. There's also a regular price variant by Ryan Sook. Wonder Woman number 69. Diana made a promise to Aphrodite she would do everything she could to help her find her son Atlantiades, lost somewhere on Earth. But when they pick up his trail, there's no way to prepare themselves for what they'll find. A perfectly normal suburban town, driven out of its mind with uncontrolled lust. We have a regular cover by Terry and Rachel Dodson. There's also a regular price variant by David Finch. Amber Blake number two. Her and her partner Matt are deployed on their first mission, the sabotage of a sex trafficking ring run by the Yakuza. We have a regular cover by Butch Geis. There's also a 1 in 10 incentive variant by Catherine Nodet. Ghost Tree number one. Seeking a refuge from an unhappy life, Brant returns to his ancestral home in Japan to find a haunted tree and the departed souls that are drawn to it, including his grandfather. Brant attempts to heal some of history's wounds, but will he be able to find any measure of peace for himself when someone special from his past returns? Ascender number one. This is the sequel to Jeff Lemire's Descender. It's part one to the Haunted Galaxy, and it's set ten years after the events of Descender's storyline. This issue is focused on Mila, the daughter of Andy and Effie from Descender, as she spends her days exploring the lonely wilds of the planet Samson. One thing I do like about this book, there's only one cover, so I'm definitely picking this up. Criminal number four. If you're a fan of Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips, you should definitely be reading this book. 
the first criminal series plus killer be killed not much more i can say about this book except it's an exciting read and it's always in my monthly pool redneck 19 this is the start of the new story arc the bowman family leaves texas and searches for salvation in the shadows of mexico great donny cage ryan fantastic story highly recommend this if you aren't reading it so i'm continuing to pick this up as well spawn number 296 this is part one to the life and deaths of al simmons Witness the secret of Al Simmons' past, present, and future. It's got three different covers for it. There's a regular Francisco Matina cover, regular price Francisco Matina Virgin variant, and a regular price Todd McFarlane and Matina black and white variant. <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man number 20. This is part four to the hunted where the big showdown begins. Spider-Man vs. Craven. It's got three different covers. There's a regular Umberto Ramos cover. Regular price connecting variant by Lionel Francis Yu, and an incentive 1 in 25 variant by Mark Bagley. Avengers Edge of Infinity number 1. From the wreckage of their moon base, the villainous Lunar rises again with a deadly plan for the shards of the Cosmic Cube. Join Captain America, Black Widow, Iron Man, and Captain Marvel in a race against time that would determine the fate of the solar system. There's a regular cover by Todd Nock. There's also a regular price variant by Ron Lim. Avengers number 18, this is a War of the Realms tie-in, and it's also going to introduce us to an all-new Squadron Supreme of America team. There's three different covers for it. There's a regular Ed McGinnis cover, regular price as Guardian variant, and a regular price Alex Ross Marvel's 25th tribute variant. Marvel Comics presents number four. This is a tour of history of Marvel during the turbulent 1970s. There's a regular Arthur Adams cover. There's also a 1 in 50 incentive variant. They don't tell you the artist's name, but looking at the art, it's pretty easy to tell it's Bill Sinkovich. I really love this incentive variant. I don't think there's going to be too many ordered to kind of surprise some people. This is going to be my pick of the week. Mighty Thor 3D number 1. Jane lifts the mystic hammer Mjolnir and transforms into the goddess of thunder. But the battle she's taken on is unlike any you've seen before as she's battling the cancer that's taken over her mortal form. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge number one. I love this book because I'm a big fan of Disney. In case you're unaware, Disneyland and Disney World have two brand new Star Wars worlds coming to their parks. This book ties into those parks. It's got four different covers for it. There's a regular Rod Rice cover. There's a regular price attraction variant. There's a 1 in 10 incentive concept art variant and a 1 in 25 incentive Patrick Zercher variant. Star Wars Vader Dark Visions number 3. Here we find out what it is like to be in love with Lore Vader and what fate will befall one who is infatuated with the tall, dark mystery behind the mask. We have a regular cover by Greg Smallwood. There's also an incentive variant by Yasmin Putri. Thanos number one. This is going to be number one issue of a mini series that takes a look at the relationship between Thanos and Gamora. It's going to have a bunch of different covers for it. There's a regular cover by Jeff DeCall, regular price variant by Ron Lim, regular price variant by Ariel Alavete, regular price blink variant, an incentive movie variant, a 1 in 25 incentive variant by Zafino, a 1 in 50 incentive variant by Gerald Perrell. And a 1 in 100 Hidden Gem Wraparound variant by Alan Weiss. Venom number 13. This is going to be a War of the Realms tie-in. It's going to have a regular cover by Ryan Stegman. And a regular price as Guardian variant by n -Hyuk Lee. War of the Realms Uncanny X-Men number 1. Malekith's forces are invading Earth. And the heroes of Earth are joining with the heroes of Asgard to fight them back. And who better to lead the X-Men into that war than their very own... Valkyrie, Danny Moonstar. It's four different covers for it. There's a regular David Yarden cover, regular price Giuseppe Comincoli connecting variant, an incentive 1 in 25 variant, and an incentive 1 in 50 John Tyler Christopher variant. Dark Red number 2. Rural vampire Chip is dragged from his boring life as a late night convenience store clerk and into a monstrous conspiracy as he protects the ravishing vampirist Camille from the Order of Eventide. I enjoyed the first issue. I'm going to pick up the second one. Kind of remind me of True Blood and Images Redneck. But great story. Looking forward to issue number two. Weed Magic number three. This comes from Bliss on Tap. After literally altering the course of ancient history, Mo and Bunny get serious and decide they must use the awesome powers of weed magic to help the good citizens of Hollyweird. Sounds like a funny story. 
Love the homage cover to Guns N' Roses, so I'm going to definitely pick this up. Neon Future number two. This comes from Impact Theory, confronted by the hardships of the augmented people he used to hunt. Clay races home and hopes his authentic family will accept him, despite his terrifying new powers. Three different covers for this. There's a regular Jeremy Rat Pack cover. There are also two regular priced variant covers for this as well. Honor and Curse number three. The battle rages on between Yua and Jinchi in dramatic fashion. After the spectacular fight between the two rival shinobi, Nishiro reveals the truth to Jinchi about the Tengu and the day Nishiro found Jinchi outside the village. Electric Black number one. This is from Scout Comics. It's a cursed antique shop appearing in any time or space, soliciting customers at hungers to corrupt or devour. We have two different covers for this as a regular cover. There's also a 1 in 10 incentive variant. Queen of Bad Dreams number one. This comes from Vault Comics. When a dream entity known as a figment emerges from a dreamer's mind, it's Dyer's job to track them down and make the call. Reinsert the figment or grant them agency in our world after an especially powerful figment escapes the dreams of an even more powerful politician's son. Dyer's pulled headlong into an investigation that traces all the way back to the incident that set dreams, even nightmares, spilling into our reality. There's a regular cover by Jordi Perez. There's also a regular priced homage variant by Nathan Gooden. So there it is, guys. Those are my picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, April 24th, 2019. Go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what books you guys are picking up. Question of the day. Who is your favorite superhero and why? My favorite superhero, Thor. Always enjoyed Thor. I always enjoyed Norwegian mythology. Loved Thor. Loved the Mjolnir. Loved the helmet. And when I was a kid, I watched Adventures in Babysitting. And I thought Gomer Pyle was Thor, just like in the movie. Anyway, Thor, fantastic character. My favorite. Love Jason Aaron's run. Love Walt Simonson's run. So definitely enjoy reading those books. Also, make sure you tune in to this channel every Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. Jack DeMeo, AKA Mr. Bolo and I have the CBSI Bolo Show where we recap each week's hottest comic book releases and the CBSI Bolo list. Great live chat. We have a fantastic conversation on there, really good time. Thursday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern, live on Simple Man's Comics. And with that said, this is Brian with Simple Man's Comics, and I'll see you guys next week.